Hi. Now in this last part of the question, we're told that the teacher also recorded the number of hours revision V these 10 students completed during the week before their mock exam. And the correlation coefficient between T and V was minus 0 0.753. And we've got to describe giving a reason the nature of the correlation you would expect to find between V and G. Well, what I've done here is just a recap, first of all, of what we found in the previous part. We found that the correlation coefficient between the grade and the hours of TV was negative 0.753, which would indicate negative correlation, something where the points were scattered, say, about a line, something like this. So this would be, say, our line of best fit negative correlation. We're also told in this part then that the correlation coefficient between T and V is minus 0 0.753. So again, negative correlation. So I could expect the points to be scattered something like this around a line looking like this. So in other words, what we've got is that the more hours of TV that are watched, then the less hours of revision are done. But we've got to describe, giving a reason, the nature of the correlation you would expect to find between V and G, between the hours of revision and the grade that you get. Well, I would have thought, judging by this, we would expect that the more hours of revision that you put in, the higher the grade. So I'm expecting scatter diagram to look something like this, with our line of best fit going through, say, like that. So my answer would be that we've got positive correlation. Let's just put that in, correlation. And uh, I would expect to see uh, as the hours of revision increase, so too would the uh, grade. Um, so too, OK, with the grade. With the grade. All right. So, something along those kind of lines, I would have thought.